the casino mentality in trading. Financial markets attract all sorts of participants from part-time hobbyists looking for an extra cash to multinational institution moving billions of dollars across thousands of instruments. The, create, the trading game stretches across both ends of the spectrum with part-timers and at-home gamers competing for profits with traditional funds and lightning-fast computer algorithms. Data suggests the majority of traders playing out the shallow end of the market pool will eventually fail at the endeavor and pick up stakes, letting someone else manage their money or simply giving up and looking for another way to build wealth. Ironically, many of these folks never had a chance to succeed because they came into a game with a casino mentality that marked a direct path to failure. What exactly is a casino mentality and how does it undermine the trader's quest for profitability? Is that the flawed approach limited to novices or to experienced traders also get caught up in the behavior? What's the most effective way to overcome the casino mentality and replace it with a disciplined approach that supports a profitable career in speculation? Some key takeaways before we get started. Investing and gambling both involve risk, capital, and the hopes of making a profit. Investing by definition is putting your money to work so that it can grow in the future and thus has a positive expected return even though there are risks. Gambling in contrast is defined as wagering on games on chance without any skill and has a negative expected return. If you start trading believing the market is a casino, you are likely to make bad bets and lose money. But if you trade in a disciplined, objective manner that follows sound strategy, your investments are likely to pay off over time. Understanding the casino mentality. Many new traders view the participation in the financial markets in the same way as a trip to Las Vegas. Hoping to pile cash in their back pockets can be traded in for a bigger pile when they leave. Many of these folks haven't learned basic trading strategies and techniques because they are oblivious to the nature of risk hypnotized by the greed that sticks the glue to all get-rich-quick schemes. The media and peers have programmed new traders to look securities as betting sheets and the broad markets as a sporting event in which anyone can win, at, win as long as they root for the right side. The game looks black and white from the perspective because they don't understand how markets pick the pockets of traders who throw money at securities with the same intensity that coins are dropped into a warm-armed bandit in hope of hitting the jackpot. And just like that, a slot machine minor payouts at regular intervals increase the motivation to place bigger bets whether or not they are appropriate to the market conditions and opportunities in play at the time. This is a greedy behavior, occasionally pays off with a big win, but mostly loses money consistently over time, opening the doors of failure and final exit from the trading game. The lack of definable edge seals the fate. Just like gamblers who play for the excitement but fail to learn the odds for each game and appropriate responses, that reduce or eliminate the house advantages. Meanwhile, both sets of individuals get secondary reinforcement from destructive actions because their bodies release the adrenaline and endorphins whether they play regardless of winning or losing. The casino mentality consumes the most capital when markets or instruments head into binary events like earning reports or economic releases that trigger sharper, higher, or lower security prices. Smart traders step aside or hedge positions at these inflection points because they don't know the outcome and guessing doesn't constitute a viable strategy. Meanwhile, the afflicted trader goes all in taking large positions because they are fixed on the winning side of the equation, blind to the significant cause of being wrong. Something I always say, which is not what you know that matters, meaning about the future, what's the next move up or down in the market? What you do that matters. Managing Director and Chief Strategist of Charles Schwab, and Sanders. And I think that investors often think the key to success is knowing what's going to happen and then positively accordingly in advance. And that's just gambling on moments in time. Beginner's floor or lifetime affliction. The casino mentality primarily aff affects novices because it is a natural coincidence or misunderstanding of financial markets and how they function. Many of these folks will learn from the mistakes sooner or later using the inevitable losses as a wake-up call to take the subject matter and more seriously in turn. This provides the motivation needed to sit down and learn the basis of strategy, position sizing, po positive expectations, and risk management. While novices wash out quickly if they don't abandon the casino mentality, the experienced traders can carry on elements of the destructive mindset for years. 
While it doesn't dominate their time-tested strategy, this mentality can show up wherever greed overcomes discipline. It isn't a fatal in small doses and may inject a bit of fun into the trading day as long as the position size is kept down. These are probably called lottery tickets. Working best when traders face binary scenarios they've seen enough times to believe that they have a better than 50-50 chance of being right. For example, FTSE Russell rebalances their popular index portfolio once a year in June, triggering rallies because fund managers need to buy the new securities. Experienced traders can book windfield profits if they guess the additions in advance. Although a binary event, a security is added or not, years of observing this process creates a small edge that traders play with the basket of stocks that they think will get added. Overcoming the casino mentality. Education offers the most potent defense against the casino mentality. Start your trading career by reading the solid tutorial materials on investing, trading, and history of the financial markets. Then explore specialized materials in your areas of interest, including security analysis by Benjamin Graham and David Dodd if focused on the fundamental analysis and technical analysis of stock trends by, by Robert D. Edwards and John McGee if focused on technical analysis. Read biographies on famous traders and how they make their fortune, such as Renaissance of a Stock Trader, Edwin LeVar's 1923 biography of legendary trader Jesse Livermore. Supplement that basic knowledge by fast-forwarding into modern era, studying trap trading and marketing books of the last few decades. Realistically, many new participants avoid the educational path because they are perfectly content chasing the illusion of easy money looking for the markets to provide big paydays without working up a sweat. Logistically, this works to the advantage of more serious-minded participants generating a large supply, fumbling weak hands that add to reward potential at key market turning points. Frequently asked questions. Is playing the stock market the same as entering a casino? If you buy stocks randomly on a whim or based on rumors, it could be. However, a diversified, well-researched portfolio or even passively investing in a broad stock market index has positively expected returns and will grow your wealth over time on average. On the other hand, once you enter a casino, as the experts say, you're already down money. How does speculation differ from gambling? While speculation is highly risky, it does not still often has a positive expected return, even though the return may never manifest. Gambling, on the other hand, always involves a ne negative expected return. The house always has the advantage. Gambling also is a very short time horizon. You place a bet, you spin the wheel with investments and even speculation ones. It often takes a longer time horizon to pan out or not. Can trading become an addiction like gambling can? Trading can be exciting, stimulating, emotional, and engrossing, which can induce reward payoffs in the brain. When a day trader takes profit or even gets excited about a potential profit, the brain releases feel-good neurochemicals such as dopamine and serotonin. As such, you have become addicted, just like a casino gambling or using illicit drugs. How dangerous can trading addiction be? Likely, any severe addiction trading can be caused you, your job, personal relations, and of course, your financial resources. The bottom line, the financial markets offer, offer all sorts of opportunities to build profits as long as the participants are willing to cultivate well-defined edges and build appropriate sets of risk and money management rules. Conversely, placing binary bets on market outcomes, believing it's a casino that pays off in random manner, ignores market structure and reality, providing a direct path to failure and washout. You know you the know catchphrase. The catchphrase. Study, Study it. it. Analyze, Analyze it. it. Adapt, Adapt it. it. Peace. Peace.